Cameron's primarily oil field services related, uh, valves, measurements, those kinds of things, subsea equipment, uh, one of the largest portions of our organization. The division I'm with, uh, the compression systems, uh, uh, builds centrifugal and reciprocating compressors uh, for both uh, factory and oil field related services, large scale compressors. We're getting back into engines and, and revamping these 30, 35 year old engines uh, that aren't running as greenly as they need to today. Uh, so a large part of our business uh, today and, and hopefully all into the future is uh, greening up those, uh, those engines, making them meet the more stringent uh, emission uh, specs uh, that we have to meet today. And, and, and we justified quite a bit of growth of ANSYS and some of the other analysis tools, certainly HPC systems, the clusters we brought in, uh, in that new growth that we have in that, in that part of the business. Um, it's allowing us to, to learn things about a lot of those old designs that we had no idea were going on. Uh, during combustion and during the cooling of the gases. Uh, the analysis that we're doing today are teaching us a lot about our old designs and how to improve them, make them more efficient. In the past, most of our analysis was done on, on workstations, if you will. Uh, single processor, uh, double processor uh, workstations. It was most FEA work. It was, it was hours of of an analysis, uh, but now we're simulating packages, whole packages, doing harmonic uh, resonance of, of a whole piping structure, uh, you know, aft and before and aft of, of an engine or a compressor. So it takes an awful lot more time to, to process those jobs, and, and that's where HPCs have made it doable for us. In the past, we didn't do it, it was just too, too time consuming. So if you throw more computing power at it, you get results quicker. And if you get good at it, like we think we're getting, we, we actually do more iterations and tweaking of those designs, which is really is what's made it fly for us. That's really where the justification has come in uh, for the expense of these kinds of systems, is that we can really fine tune our designs before we ever cut any metal. I mentioned our 30 year old designs. And 30 years ago, there wasn't a lot of analysis work going, so there's an awful lot of assumptions made about the performance and what was really going on in the, in the hardware, in, in the processes. Uh, today, with the, with analysis, we can see exactly what's going on. We can predict uh, what's going on. We can see mistakes we made uh, 30, 20 years ago, uh, and correct those and make our make our equipment more efficient. Uh, so the more of that you do, the more of that you want, basically, and, and realistically, our customers expect that these days.